Welcome to another video. This time the announce. Um, let's go to this use case first. And then I will explain what the announce method is. So here's the standard uh, project when you open a new project. And I have the screen reader enabled. This is Android, so talkback is enabled. Let's press this button. Increment button. Double tap to activate. It said increment button, double tap to activate. So let's do that. And now silence, nothing. Not very helpful for someone that's using a screen reader to help in the app. So this is where announce comes in. We want to say what happened on the screen for the user. And we can do that. So let's check in the code. Here we have the floating action button. And when I'm pressed, it will call this uh, private method that's right here in the private method we increment the uh, the counter variable and that's it but actually this is the perfect place for it to announce what happened to do that we need a service sorry semantics service get the right package you have also one in uh, in rendering we want the semantics one dot announce there we go you can put in the message and a text direction left to right it's perfect for me let's try this out i reload increment button yes. double tap to activate let's double tap message there you go it announced the word message so here we can play around and put anything we want. You just incremented the counter to and put a variable right here. Counter. I reload. Let's increment press the button, button again. Double tap to activate. You just incremented the counter to three. There you go. We announced that the counter is incremented to the, the counter variable. This is perfect. This is all for this video. Very, I hope this was very helpful. See you all in the next video.